Hi guys, I'm Kiwi in Japan, or the Akaboshi of no Nipponbashi, uh, the, the red beanie or red hat guy of Nipponbashi. Um, today I'm going to Surugaya on Ota Road. Um, this shop on the second floor has lots and lots of uh, cool figurines, uh, Gundam, Nendoroid, Figma, um, lots of random uh, old Gachapon toys as well. And then on the third floor, they've got like key rings, postcards, coasters, clear files, all kinds of like collectible goods. Um, so I'm gonna go check them out today. Please join me, please subscribe for more tour videos. Um, without further ado, let's go. The shop next door sells like retro video games and consoles and stuff, but we're going into Surugaya today. Um, don't be daunted when you come inside, you're like, is this an office building or something? Like, where, where, where are the anime goods? Um, but it's the second floor and the third floor. Lots of people take the elevator, but honestly, it's not that, it's not far at all. So here we go. It's, it's only me. Um, this is, it's like 10 o'clock in the morning on a Monday. I've got annual leave from work today um, because, it, no, not, not annual leave, um, a holiday. Um, we had work on Saturday, so I get to have Monday off. This is the figurine floor. So you can see there's lots of uh, rare figurines here. I mean, there's like some cheap ones here just as you come inside. Do I know any of these sources? Oh, Tiger Bunny, Q Posca, Tokyo Avengers. Oh my God, that's um, Oshinoko. That's a $7 figurine of, um, what's her name, Ruby. Wow, that's pretty cool. It was probably like a prize from a crane game and an arcade. That's a really cool figurine. They've got um, Bandai mini figurines. Anya and Yor and Lloyd as well. Wow, they're only like $30. What the heck is that? Like a cat Sasuke and um, Sakura. Oh my god, cool. I like these figurines, the um, Bandai minis. Oh, here's the sitting figurine. Um, I know that Ayumi really likes these. Ayumi watches some of my videos. Oh, power from Chainsaw Man. $24. Very good price. And this is, um, I can't remember the name, Heaven's Gate or something. That's pretty cool. And lots of figurines of lots of sources. I don't really collect figurines because they're so big. Um, but I like Nendoroids. I've got a couple of Nendoroids. Oh my god. There's a Mario one. She flees from Tokyo Avengers. This guy from Golden Kamui. Kamu or something. Big clothes for you. I've got that Nendoroid. I've got I've got two Nendoroids. After just saying I didn't have any figurines, <laughs> I do have a couple. Oh, this is Jujutsu Kaisen. Wow. Gojo? Oh my god, very, very cool. That's a Figma. That's quite cheap for a Figma figurine. 3,300. Todoroki from My Hero Academia. This is the second floor of Surugaya. And this is the kind of stuff that you can find if you come here. Wow, I like Android 18. Q Posca. It's like a cute, basic style figurine, and they're always very cheap. Q Posca. It's kind of like um, Funko Pops. Q Posca. Nendoroid. Like, they make lots of different... There's an Android. They make lots of different figurines of different anime and movies and sources. Um, not just anime as well, like, movies too. There's lots more Nendoroids. Of, um, VTubers, I think. That guy there. The, the, she? She and he are, like, the most famous VTubers in Japan. This is Token Rambu, which is a, a mobile game from a long, long time ago. It's been going for a long time. <gasps> and here's the Nendoroid Isle, my favourite. Wow. Lots and lots of androids. Let's check it out. Anything that I like? Anything that I know? Lagoon, Lagoon. What is it called? I can't remember. <gasps> oh, I thought that was um, Blue Exorcist. Yuri. If that was Blue Exorcist, I don't think they have an android of Blue Exorcist. Got... <laughs> the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Why not? There was a movie recently. Why not? Any like ensemble stars? Or this is Hypnosis Mike, which is kind of like a rhythm. I think it's a rhythm game. Um... Dr. Stone is quite a new anime. Um, what's it called? Hataraku Saibo. Sells at work. You can sometimes find a good deal. Like, Nendoroids are typically, like, um, $50 when they're brand new. But, oh my god, America from Hetelia is nearly $120. There's, um, Crawler from Hunter Hunter. Why, why is it? Okay, so this one is nearly $80. This one's nearly $50. What's the difference? Like, this box has been opened or something? I can't see any sticker saying that. $50, $80. I'm, <laughs> I'm buying that one. Weird. <laughs> it's kind of like, there's just random prices all the time. $70 for Persona 5 Joker. If I found the Persona 3 boy, Figma, 
or not Figma and Nindroid, I'd probably buy it. They've got lots of Figmas here as well. Cool. Let's keep exploring. Like, normally this is where I would give up. Oh, this is um, Fate Grand Order, the Fate series. Normally I'd be like, okay, I looked at the Nindroids, time to go on to the next floor. But for you guys, I'm going to look at the Gundam as well. Lots of model Gundam. You can make them. And some of them are really cheap. Is, is it just the weapons? Or, I don't know. $32. There's like a girl or something. Do you make her? I don't know. Do you make her? You make her. Wow. That's pretty cool. You make like a robot girl. I guess she's a robot. Lots of Gundam. Vinci Boy, one of my top Kiwi members, loves Gundam. There's so much here. And uh, more Gundam, even more Gundam. Lots and lots of Gundam. Oh, there's like the main Gundam guy, I think. I recognize the colors. <laughs> so much Gundam. Gundam, Gundam, Gundam. Hmm. Seems reasonably priced, but I guess you have to build the entire figurine yourself. Oh, and here's some like rare Figma and an Android that have been put behind a glass case. They've even got like um, board games over there in Japanese. I saw Settlers of Catan one time. What are the rare Nendoroids? Oh, um, Breath of the Wild Link is that price. Um, Death Stranding, Hideo Kojima game. Oh, this is Germany from Hitelia. $110. Naruto. What Naruto is that, I wonder? <gasps> Persona, Persona 5. Pretty cool, and some Kingdom Hearts up there. Very cool. Some more figurines. Cool, I think that's I think that's about everything. Oh, this is some like random gachapon ones here. They like look quite low quality, kind of expensive. Like a gachapon normally costs like 300 yen. 300 to 500 yen. But I guess it's not blind, you just you can see which character it is and get it straight up. Here's some more One Piece figurines. Cool. That's a very cool looking lore. Is it from the Wano arc? I'm not sure how much that is. Whoa. $14. Cool. All right, I'll probably go upstairs now. Let's see what the um, coasters and badges and things are upstairs. I've got, they got some more um, very, very cheap discount ones here. There's a Bakugo. That's $3, that Bakugo from Hiroaka. Oh, Those are Riddle Rose Hearts from Twisted Wonderland. He comes with that girl from Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, that's pretty good. You can find some like bargain bin stuff as well if you dig and search and explore. That's pretty cool. Is he from Kuroko no Basket? I'm not sure. All right, let's go upstairs. Upstairs is where you can find um, key rings and coasters and postcards and like I think figurines are quite big and chunky and I don't really put them out on display. I live with my partner Nanako. She doesn't like that. She doesn't like seeing all the anime figurines and stuff. So I collect coasters and badges and postcards and I keep them in clear files. And it's like more tidy, more organized than just having lots of figurines and boxes just like sitting around. So here we go. We're on the, um, uh, wow, Genshin. <laughs> I love Genshin. This is from the um, Inazuma Cafe. The Inazuma, I've got that. I've got this same acrylic stand. Is that the Haiti one? No, it's not. This is the Haiti collaboration, but they've removed the Haiti logo and just made it Genshin instead. So this is like a re-release later. I've got the Lawson Yuimu. I love Genshin. So everything here is like acrylic stands, badges, rubber straps and stuff like that. What game's this? Oh, the horse racing game. They've got Jujutsu Kaisen at the bottom. More VTubers, that's the popular number one VTuber, Kuzuha. Is that his name? I think. Mm, cool, very expensive stuff as you first come in. And then there's some cheaper stuff and it's all like organized into like their sources. So like here is like all Kimitsu no Yaiba stuff. Here's like Blue Lock as well. Blue Lock's quite popular at the moment. Haven't seen it myself. But it's all like badges and cards and coasters and things. And plushies. Eight dollars, pretty reasonable. <gasps> oh, there's um, Oshinoko with a little bit of Tokyo it says. <laughs> Oshinoko, wow. There's a Kana plush, $20. Coaster from a Raku Spa collaboration. Sweets Paradise, I might have this coaster. I might have gone to that cafe. I did go to that cafe. Wow, cool. 
lots and lots of Oshinoko acrylic stand, $16. I like acrylic stands, it's kind of like a smaller, cheaper figurine. Lots of Tokyo Revengers over there. Zip, that's me unzipping. Chainsaw Man, Chainsaw Man and Spy Family. I want to go see the Genshin. There's like mobile games and Genshin's over here. Uh, mobile games over here, like Genshin. Uh, what have they got? Niji Sanji, which is like, I think VTubers like singing. I'm not sure, a VTuber group. Oh, Project Sekai. Project Sekai is here. Cool. Oh, wow. A, um, Arataki Ito Genshin Inazuma Cafe acrylic stand for $9. I've got this, but I know that one of my Kiwi members really wants it. Big Fudge NZ. I might buy that for him. I'll have to come back and I'll have to come back later when I'm not filming this video. Flush of, of Shao, I've got that. It was from, it was a prize from a crane game. It's $36. I think I paid, paid a little bit less than that. This dead Tsitsi, Chi Chi. This was from the Wendy's collaboration here in Japan. Well, they've got tons of them. Star Rail, Honkai Star Rail. Have they got any other Star Rail things? Whoa. That's Honkai Star Rail, I'm pretty sure. It's a character. Or it could be um, Honkai the Third. Lots of acrylic stands. Shinobu. There's a Kazuha one. Wow. $16. Pretty reasonable. I mean, I guess that's like the normal price. There's Ganyu. Maybe I could send that to my boy Vinci boy. That's like the um, default artwork of her. $16. Oh, that's an event Shao, uh, Shinchu one. That was a prize that you could win. I've got the one of Ayaka, that collaboration, where she's wearing like a school uniform. Cool. Lots of really cool stuff. Oh my god, a full collection, a full set of the rubber straps. That's a pretty good price. Ganyu and Shongli are the most rare and expensive ones there. Albedo too. Cool. I mean, they've got like birthday. Birthday artwork and badges. GG. Cool. All right. Um, now, time to go see the crowning jewel. Um, there's like a section at the back that has like... $1, $2, $3 badges and key rings and stuff, but you have to like kind of dig to be able to find them. Oh, and here they've got like more obscure anime and stuff. So they've got like a very small section of Hanako-kun. Where is it? Toilet bound Hanako-kun. Um, Toho. There's a Toho section there. Not disappointed, would love that. They've got Digimon. What else have they got? Trigun, probably the new Trigun, not the old one. Uh, Trigun Maximum is what it's called. Oh, this Final Fantasy. Hatelia, which we saw some figurines of earlier. There's Persona there. <gasps> Have they got any good Persona things? No, nothing good of Persona. That's really cool, though. That's the main boy from Persona 5, a key ring of him. $9. That was from a cafe collaboration Prince at Princess Cafe. Um, anything else that I could have a look at? Well, they've got, like, l less popular. Still popular, but not super mega popular. Not like Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, stuff like that, Tokyo Revengers. So here we go. 300 yen or less bargain bins and they've got some like twisted wonderland ensemble stars here's talk and rumbu again which we saw earlier um oh here's ensemble stars this is all the ensemble star stuff that i usually get for luca oh that's really cool wow that's only 100 yen holy cow does anyone like that boy oh my god there's some really good stuff of this boy wow that's 100 yen <gasps> oh my god I'll have to come back here later and take photos to send to Luca. Wow, that's all the twins, Yuta. Uh, where's like Tori and Kanata? This is, um, oh! Wow, oh my god, that's 100 yen. Wow. That is, um, Hans and Luca really like that guy. Oh my god. Okay, I'm coming back here and taking some photos and probably buying them some stuff later. Um, yeah, so it's like mobile games here. Here they've got like, um, old cards and coasters you have to like go through like searching for a long long time to find anything decent but i've been able to find some really rare coasters and cards here what's that oh cool that's from the anime cafe i went to that one i got i have this coaster anime cafe of tokyo revengers oh here's a good boy that's only 100 yen um i might have to buy that for pluto wow i don't know if he wants to have that card but oh, there's two of them <laughs> there's two of them wow and then this postcard as well that might be three dollars unless it has like a price tag on it it's probably three dollars cool all right um there's a nintendo one down there there's a persona one here somewhere which i want to have a look at later 
Um, and then there's also a Hunter Hunter one over here, which I only discovered recently. Lots of um, clear files here. Oh, well, there's one of One Piece. Rorona Zoro. Rorona Zoro. I can't pronounce his name. Where's the Hunter Hunter one? Well, here's Tokyo Revengers, Kimetsu no Aiba. Come here and dig, guys, and you can find some cool key rings and badges and stuff, and it's all sorted into your favorite anime. There's Gintama here, My Hero Academia, Kimetsu no Aiba. Yeah, I think we might be done. I think that's everything. Um, here's some more One Piece. There's some Pokemon plushes over here. Don't go to the Pokemon Center and buy a brand new one. Come here and find the best Pokemon ever, because in terms of human and Pokemon breeding, um, I ain't saying any more. Cool. <laughs> All right. Lots of cool stuff. I prefer the badges. I prefer the key rings. Tons of Pikachu as well. Get your Pikachu here. I think a brand new one though might be like fifteen dollars, one thousand five hundred yen. But I guess if you want like a like a retro one or a limited edition one or something, that's really cute. You'd have to wash it or something. I don't know. Oh, cute. A ball and ball picks. Awesome. Dragonite. This is Surugaya on Ota Road. That was Surugaya on Ota Road. If you like this video, please leave a like and please subscribe for more videos. I'm going to be doing lots of tour videos of Nipponbashi, not just Surugaya, but K Books, um, Kotobukiya, um, Osaka Volks Box Showroom. Lots and lots of tours of Nipponbashi in Osaka. So please subscribe for more if you want to know where to go anime shopping. Thanks for watching.